about to break into Maxi. I'm not going to really get into too much details. Um, Y'all already know how I break my engines in. You know, it ain't about nothing. Um, this is my little break-in stand, my ghetto break-in stand that I built. All it is is a frame. I think this is the um, RCA 8B3 stand frame, I mean, or chassis. You know, you just mount it, tank, that's it. But the thing is, I bolt it to the um, to this raggedy behind uh, starter box. That way it doesn't move. Just mount the engine, put any old exhaust on it, it's good to go. That's it. So, tools. Got my heat gun prepping, got my heat gun right, you know, out. Temp gun, screwdriver, uh, glue igniter. I'm using the uh, Bones breaking fuel. 30% nitro. And of course, you gotta have your beverage. Cold Corona, I like to have me a cold Corona while I'm doing this. If you're not drinking, that's not for you. I'm drinking. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I don't know if I ever showed y'all this, but this is what I use. This is some of the stuff I use to record the videos. I use this thing called, it's called I, I know this uh, light, hold on. Oops, sorry, hold on, hold on for a second. Let me get my angles right, sorry. But this thing here is called an iRig Pre, all right? Um, you go in with a mic cable, come out to, to my iPhone, right? And it supplies phantom power. I use this, um, this is a shotgun mic, which I use really for um, uh, um, micing up my hi-hats. But for here, it works good. What it is, is you point it and it, it picks the sound up, it's directional. I mean, but it needs phantom power. So that's what the iRig come in handy because it supplies 48 volts phantom power, if you know about um, sound, whatever. So I'm up in my addition, sunroom, whatever you want to call it. I'm sit here, break this bad boy in. Um, I don't know if I ever showed you our race trailer right there. I got to shut that door because it, it'd be exhaust blowing all in there. But this is why I keep the race trailer in the backyard. Boom, popping, you know what I mean? So, y'all see I got the holes running. Doing my thing, baby. All right, so I'm gonna uh, put some fuel in the tank, heat her up, and we're gonna get her started. I'm gonna run the whole quart of that because it's a Pico, and Picos are usually tight. So I'm gonna run the whole quart of that bones break-in fuel. All right? All right, people, let me get started. I'm gonna mount the camera. I got a tripod or boom, whatever you wanna call it. And we can do what it do, all right? All right, let's go. First one, I always like to get it a little bit hotter. 280 is just fine. A little prime. Head one more. Here we go. to bump up the idle a little bit to help it let me do it from this side that way my arm ain't in the way so bump the idle up a little bit good to go Got the camera off while that's doing its thing. Let that sit, run, do its thing. 
Temp shop. I'm out here. Same time. As you see, I got the hose running out here. Getting away wash the cars while I'm at the same time. So I'm getting ready to do my thing. While they're sitting in there breaking in, wash the cars off a little bit. You gotta multitask, baby. You gotta multitask. You know what I mean? These things are filthy. The simple green in there down. The phone going crazy as usual. All right, people, let me multitask, get this together. But uh, I'm getting it. All right. That's one down. I just got to oil up the bearings. And um, that's it. Once I oil up those bearings, should be good to go. See what I mean? Just gotta do the truggy. Here's a tip for y'all. Whenever I'm getting ready to wash up, give me a little bucket, a little um, Tupperware bowl. It's easier to carry all the stuff. Look at all that. Gotta clean all that. So it's easier to carry everything outside. You know what I mean? Then wash it. See what I'm saying? All right. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. It's a little loud out here. Because the compressor's going. Engine's still running. Engine breaking. Get ready to do the truggy. Multitasking, baby. At its best. So, see the truggy, right? Crazy. And, uh... Coming out of there. So, engine breaking and car washer. Look at that, smooth, even with even being dirty. All right, let me get busy. All right, people, let me tell y'all, this engine breaking been rough. Not the engine, but just my phone keep ringing, man, ringing, 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 and I'm trying to record phone calls coming through old lady in florida you know how that go so all right anyway it's starting to get dark see i got 10 on these windows y'all really can't see but it's starting to get dark so i had to shut it down um but i only got to about that much man it's only about two tanks i couldn't finish you know I, phone started ringing that was a wrap but i turned it off it's a little warm it's starting to cool down bomb dead center um, I'm gonna just have to finish the rest of this tomorrow. I was trying to get through a little bit more, but it is what it is. So, it's all gravy. So, I'm getting ready to start these dips. Um, in the truggy and buggy. At least I can get some of that maintenance done. I'll finish this up tomorrow, all right? But y'all know about engine braking. Ain't no big deal. All right, people? All right, this your man, Rajay. 111, just does something quick and easy. But I'm gonna tell you, this motor sounds good. It sounds... It's not bad. The needles are a little finicky, though. It seemed that way, but I'm not sure. But I'm telling you, it's taking long to get through these tanks because I'm just idling. And idling is sipping fuel. So once I start adding some RPMs tomorrow, um, I can go through these tanks faster. But for now, it is what it is. All right, people. So I'll continue this tomorrow. All right. All right, people. It's the next day. Doing some diff, uh, truggy, redoing the diffs, I mean, truggy, some shocks, doing that. Buggy's good to go. Buggy has some stuff popping, but you know, it's good. Um, buggy's good to go, baby. Doing the front diff, 7,000. This, this stuff is good, man. Brent, I wish that machine was back working, I swear. Open up my diffs, man, they look great. Put seven thousand in the front, um, ten thousand center, and I'm gonna do three. I like three thousand at rear for a truggy, but um, everything looking good. Uh, oh, you know what? Let me show you this. Now this is the K five hundred one. I'm getting ready to send this out. I'll send this out for a repinch. 
Now this thing got gallons. I've never took this motor apart. Never. I just want to show y'all inside there. Wait, let me see if y'all can see in there. You can still see castor oil down in the bottom there. How clean that is. Wait, let me get in there for y'all. Look at that. Look at that in there. Never taken apart. Never cleaned it out. None of that. Look at that. Look at that. Popping. Let me show y'all the... Uh, never, like I said, never took this thing apart. You can see. Hold on. Let me see if I can get this apart for y'all. Look at that piston. Never taken apart. Good stuff, man. I'm trying to tell you, good stuff. So anyway, y'all hear that buzz in the background. Let's go check on this. Look at all the oil. Oil for days. Look at that. Pouring out. That oil pouring out. Right? So, the braking fuel, which the braking been going pretty good. It's going pretty good. Uh, she's starting to idle like. Nothing, no problem. This how much I got left. That's how much I got left. So I'm getting there with her. She's doing good though. She's doing real good. Uh, let's, see, let's take a temp. Twenty-five. Yep. Sitting there muscling away. Pretty good. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm just out the back doing some maintenance. It's nice because I got the screen all open, getting the breeze. I wish I was out LCRC getting that screen here racing, but I had stuff to do around the house. Took care of all that. So now I'm just getting the cars maintenance, getting these engines and stuff. I'm going to send a batch of them to get uh, redone up. But that's it, people. That's it. Everything's been looking good, man. Damn, I wish this was still available. Brent, we need this, brother. We need this in our lives. All right, people. So, break-in's going good. Um, engine's starting up good. Uh, I gave a little bit of RPMs. It's been good. Everything's been good. You know what I mean? All right, get ready to finish these. Oh, let me show you all this. Now, all right, I got the diff mod, but... When I was down Blue Ridge, you see that slice and dice, baby? Look at that. Damn thing almost got sawed in half. I got another diff case. Uh, yeah, I got some more here, so I'm good to go. No biggie. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. All right, y'all. <clears throat> Let me show y'all one more thing. This is the uh, rear diff in my truggy. And I had 3,000 in here. Now, I'm going to show you this. I ain't changed this in months. No, well, not months, but for a while. Yeah, probably been months. Now, of course, it's brown. But look at it. It's not... I'm trying to see if y'all can see that. Look how that is. That did look good, man. Brent, we need that in our lives, dog. Look at that. That's 3,000 in a truggy. 3,000 in the truggy. That's not even that black. You know what I mean? And that's probably months since I changed that. That's 3,000. I'm trying to see if I can get it to drain out. So you can really see it. That's 3,000 in the truggy. In the rear. I'm telling y'all, stuff is good stuff, baby. Because I know I got questions about the diff fluid. I'm telling you, Brent, we need that in our life, baby. We need this in our life. Keep telling y'all. 
I got a clean paper towel. I'm trying to just show y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's not even that bad. 3,000. That should be tore up. That's 3,000 in a truggy. Y'all hear the engine in the background breaking it, breaking in? That's gangster. Look at this. Look at this. Stop playing, man. Stop playing. Look at this. 3,000. This shit ain't even burnt. Look at this. Look at this. 3,000 for a minute. Oh man, come on, come on, people. Stop the hating. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Shh. Shh. All right, get back to this engine. People, let me, let me just show y'all this puddle of oil, okay? Puddle of oil. Uh, what was the one thing they was talking? Oh, uh, the Bones Brew don't have caster. I guess that's three in one, huh? I guess that's three in one. All right, let's turn this off. She's getting low. Yeah, what was that one thing they were saying? Cause I see we back to the we back to the BS again. Um. Oh, don't have caster. Yeah, like I said, I guess that's three in one out there, huh? Children. Start, this shit starting really get on my nerves, yo. But anyway, she going good. Breaking going good. <clears throat> I'm getting down, baby. I'm getting down. You know what I mean? Uh, getting there. A little bit more. Gotta let her cool down. Let her breathe. You know, room temperature. Remember, make sure you put it at bottom dead center. And see, what I like to do is I put a mark. See that red mark? Right there. That way I know it's at bottom dead center. So I feel it right there. Boom. And just let her relax, baby. That's all. You know, it's going good. All right. Still at it. Truggy shocks. I do uh, 600 all around. That seemed to work pretty good for me. Still at it. Engine still breaking in. Maybe 600 CST all the way around. Truggy shots. I'm getting there, y'all. Alright. Things to be about done. See, just knocked that whole bottle off, which is nice. You know what I mean? I figured I'd do the whole bottle because, um, you know, Pico's usually tight. But so uh, that's it. This took me all day. This was a good day because I needed this chill. You can see I'm still in my pajamas, working in the truck. I mean, the uh, race trailer. Just got finished doing the truggy. That's all ready to go. I'm going to let this cool down completely. Then we're going to take it apart. Well, that way I, I can show y'all after running a whole bottle of the break-in fuel. We'll see what the insides look like. 
Um, the mechanical pinch is gone. The mechanical pinch is when you know um, you ever feel it and then it gets stuck. So that mechanical pinch is gone, which is good. That means everything kind of good and polished. All right, all right, people, be back. Let me mount the camera and all that, and I'll be back. All right, got the motor out, nice and cool. I can tell you now, the mechanical pinch is gone, which is nice. You can see it don't get stuck, you know, when you first get the engine, but you still hear that compression. Yes, sir. All right, so uh, let's look at the glow plug first. Glow plug. Still looking good, baby. Still looking good. That's the glow plug. After one quarter of the bones breaking fuel. Alright. Alright. Alright, so let's take this um let's get the head off. Remember, always proud of plastic. Sorry about that phone call right in the middle, but all right, I just took the head off, okay? And I knew that was gonna happen. Oops. Okay, boom. That was a shim. Okay, that's the only shim. Cool. All right. Let me get the rest. Let me get the back plate off. Top dead center. It's just a habit. You know this one doesn't need it. Alright. Here we go. It's the back plate. Alright, back plate after one quarter of the bones breaking fuel. Inside guts. Alright, hold on. Let's get this out. Piston. So much lubrication is insanity. Make sure y'all zoomed in there nice and tight. All right, now, here's the sleeve. You can tell it's been ran. You know I mean? All right, let's check that pinch. It's all side, boom, hmm. Look at that. Pinch still crazy. Pinch is still crazy. Make sure y'all get Make sure you're in there, huh? Nice and polished, nice and good to go. Mm. Damn, got that in there tight. Mm. Okay, see that pinch is still crazy. All right, the crank, I, I ain't gonna take it. Well, give me a second. Yeah, I'm gonna take the crank out because I don't want no haters. I gotta take this um, off anyway, so. Why not take the crank off? All right, crank. Okay. You see that thing just glistening with lubrication, right? Just glistening with lubrication. Boom. Now, let's look in here. Let me get y'all in there right nice and tight. Mm. Looking great. It's after one quarter of the bones break in. Okay. Okay. Show y'all this one more time. Look at that. Okay. Exhaust. Pinch still crazy. All right. So you can see in there really good. I want y'all to see good in there. In fact, hold on. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir.
Okay? Okay. All right, people. This is your man, Rajay111. Just showing y'all that was the break-in of the Maxi, baby. It broke in pretty smooth. No problem. I just got to take it to um, I'm take it to the track, do some figure eights, and then she ready to go. All right, but that was one quart of the Bones break-in fuel. The whole quart. She's still lovely. All right, people. So I'll holler at y'all in the next one. Peace.